So today we're going to be actually finishing up the air suspension on my friend Will's car. Yeah, that's good. So this is the trunk setup hanging. All the wiring and stuff is all done. That's where all the the relays and stuff are ran. Uh, we just need to run air hoses now. So uh, there's a walk that around of the car. It's an aim, aim game bumper, right? Yeah. Well, T37s. So when we air out, I don't know if it's going to clear yet. I think the back will be fine. The front, we might have to put the stock wheels back on initially and then uh, get camber arms for it. The back already has camber arms. You ready to jack the car up and take the wheels off? Jack it up? Yeah. Time to jack up the car and get it started. That's what we're putting in today. Oh yeah, everybody complains about that boat. Let's see the clearance. I need to step on the brake. Uh, so we'll see. Is the steering wheel straight? Pretty sure. Uh, almost straight. Straight. <laughs> <laughs> we want to know what air out straight is. You have to make sure your steering wheel is perfectly straight before you air out. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Airs out all the way. Like you're, well, that's you're fine right. now that we know it clear. It's just make sure your steering wheel is straight all the time. I know, fuck. But my whole concern is if the system started leaking air. Yeah, that's then what I'm saying. The car airs out and doesn't damage anything as long as the steering wheel is straight. Because there's okay. like there's people that remember that car that at Franklin that was airing out that one corner. That oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like those kind of issues. Yeah, if it has leaking the bag, that's out. what that's what I was saying too to make sure. If, so it doesn't damage the fender. Yeah, right? it's not damaged. Yeah, it's fine now. Good. Cool. Let's finish this. Can't wait to see it all on the ground now. Damn, I can't believe it cleared. If you go to a smaller tire, 10 millimeters smaller, it'll get hollow clearance. Take it back off. Yeah, we just gotta run the line, that's it. Mm -hmm. I'll let it wrap everything so the next time it's gonna be Thank you. 
Yeah, take it out. Take the seeds out. Take the seeds out. So now, hose coming from here, routed all the way here, inside the car, underneath the panel, and then to the back seat area. There's the holes. Okay, zip tied in place. It's all ready to go. Like that. I'm gonna test clearance, turn left, right, and make sure it doesn't rub. Zip ties are cut. The, the alignment. Are you still gonna have to align it? What's no? I don't. It doesn't matter what now because the whole control is coming down. It's fine. I don't want it to, to, to fall on you. That's why. Where the fuck did my you come from? Dude, all these fucking arms is making the, the knuckle hella tight. That's why there's no. That's, that's why it's not coming. Oh, no play the there's no play in the bolts. That's why it's fucking hella hard. All these stupid arms. <laughs> Get them mixed up. All right, come over here. Cool. Go. Go. All right. Uh, we need the air. I mean the uh, air. I can't see which direction that the nuts are, or the studs are going to be going up because it. So uh, it's like that, like exactly what you're holding. Just like this. But is that the way we want to face the holes though? Okay, so like this then. But what the holes is going to poke out in the. Huh? Out. Out. It's fine. It's not gonna hit it. It's gonna hit the bag before oh. it hits the hose. Oh, the bag is not gonna move though. Or is it? The bag is not gonna move. The piston's gonna move. The bag would the bag would just get smaller. Yeah, no, the piston with the piston, the top of the piston down here is inverted design. Let me get a it's upside soft down. hammer again. Or in, a, in that fat ass screwdriver you grabbed that first? <laughs> Pry bar rod. Does it come back up? No, I don't know. Rod. The bushing's fucking binding right now. That's the problem.
hard to see but I have it running coming out of here the air hoses I'll show you on the top later underneath the spare tire well So this is how I routed everything underneath the car, through that hole right there, and then wiring between the subframe, pokes out to right here, comes up right here in the subframe, and then I loop this right here. So this is where I routed the hoses and sensor harness through this hole. I'm still running that one more. This is that one for the passenger rear. Route it here. Put some wire loom here to protect it from this metal piece. Up this way and then into the tank. Getting close to being done.
wrap those two together well. Just wrap it all the way until it. No, that's why I gave you the job to do it. Oh. <laughs> I, can see it. I, was like, I know it's easy to take it out, but... <laughs> no. Okay, so now it's all done. Just gonna put the spare tire back in. Hoses and everything came out here. That way, it's protected. Okay, just put it back in. Yeah. Thanks. Is it there? Yep. It's back right there. So this panel's back on now, and I don't know if you can see, but I notched it so the airlines doesn't rub. This side, you can see, this side I don't need notching because there already has some hoses coming out, so it's kind of reused the same area notch. So we just found out that when airing out, the tires like getting rubbed on both sides. This side is really bad. You can see it. So the stud that's we oh, can't see it. Isn't that a light? Yeah, right there. We gotta grind that off because it's touching the tire. I'm about to cut this thing. No, I don't want you to, because you got you might warp the, the fender. It's better to file it. If not with a fucking treble with that file, just keep going at it. It's so small, it can actually go through this fast. <laughs> okay, I got another one. Different one. It's not high enough. Is that? No. I can't see. I think we might have to take some more. Yeah, it's still touching. Not as bad as last time. Like I, I wiped off the mark, but there was two. Hey, how come it's touching two spots though? The the nut itself? Oh Maybe. the nut itself too? 
we have to grind it until it, it meets the 10 mil. I think that's what we have to do. Cut out, we're bringing the tremolo down. What noise? You know, uh, when it aired down earlier, it went dong dong. Uh huh. It doesn't make it no more. So it ran back up? Yeah. Yeah, it does. <laughs> you lie. But I think we're good. The paint didn't transfer onto this tape. That's good, though. Yeah, that's good. Alright, cool. This side's good. Do you tighten this all the way down? The lug nuts? Uh, no? No. Grinded it down and touch up painted it so it doesn't rust. We needed to use a Dremel. Fucking players. <laughs>